This video is by Straight Goods News, sgnews.ca. Well, the UN uh, Rapture's uh, report was presented today, I believe, in Geneva, um, and there's been um, a lot of activity in Canada around the presentation of, of the report. Uh, a lot of groups uh, that, are, that work within uh, a group called Food, Food Secure uh, Canada were watching live as the report was presented, and I think a lot of people will remember when the UN Rapporteur visited uh, Canada and a number of locations. Um, I can't remember how long it was ago, mm -hmm. but you have to check. Um, but what the report does is it flags that uh, food security issues um, are a huge issue in this country, which I think may be surprising to some people because we're a very wealthy country. But anybody who works on this issue knows that it's actually um, an issue that speaks to the growing inequality in Canada. That there are more and more people who rely on food banks, about 800,000 people um, a month. There are communities that are suffering because they don't have access to affordable, uh, highly nutritious food. Um, so it's, a, it's unfortunately a, a, an issue that the government has ignored. Um, the response from the minister today, as it has been in the past, is really quite shocking. I mean, what she does is she attacks the UN's report rather than focusing on the issue itself. Um, so, but, it, but, but out in the community where people are actually working on this issue, it's huge. It's not something that you know, makes the front page of the newspapers all the time, uh, but it's actually a huge issue for people across the country, and uh, uh, I was glad that we could raise it in question period today. If you could get the government uh, you know, working towards solving the problem, what's the first step you think that they should take? Well, the first thing they should do is acknowledge the significance of the UN report on the situation in Canada. Instead of slamming the report, they should actually look at the report um, and realize that it's based on, on real evidence, it's based on real consultations um, in a variety of communities, including the North. Um, and so that would be the place to begin. Um, we, you know, you know, we heard today that uh, the, uh, in the last election, the government promised that they would have a plan on um, a, a food plan for Canada. That hasn't happened. Um, so I, I think they have to uh, work in good faith with groups and organizations building on the uh, UN report to show that they're willing to develop an action plan to deal with good nutrition, to deal with um, food uh, availability, to deal with hunger issues, um, all of the things that have been identified by the UN. Government. Now, you said that food banks are being used by over 800,000 people monthly in Canada. Um, obviously, a lot of food banks rely on volunteer support. What is there anything that the government can do to help, in, uh, help support food, food banks? Well, the most important thing around food banks is making sure that people aren't living in poverty. People are lining up at food banks, including people who are working, seniors, students, single parents, people who are on welfare, people who are on pensions, um, because their income is low, their rent is high, so these issues are actually very tied as well to the issue of affordable housing. But I mean, I can remember the days when there were no food banks in Canada. Um, they weren't part of society. Yeah, 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 it was something that was very rare. Now it's an everyday occurrence, um, and people take it for granted that, oh, well, that's just the way things are. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. So the fact that people are relying on food banks is probably the strongest indication that we have. Um, that people don't have enough money simply to eat, and they have to rely on, on charity and donations uh, to get by every month. That is completely unacceptable in a country as wealthy as Canada. So in order to, I mean, we've talked for many years about the government needing to have a poverty reduction strategy, right? They talk about eliminating deficits. They talk about eliminating debts. debts. What about a poverty reduction and a poverty elimination strategy? Um, you know, when, when people have enough money to spend every month, they're not investing it in tax-free havens in, in, uh, in Bermuda or wherever. They're spending it in their local community. So it's actually something that helps the economy. Um, so all of these issues are related. Um, but the, the, the UN report today, I think, is a very important um, uh, moment uh, that shows us just how far behind this government is in one, paying attention to the problem in a meaningful way, and two, showing that they're actually committed to any...